there were only a handful of companies that survived over those five decades. And it was Marvel, DC, Archie, and Harvey. Harvey had a brand. One might call a gateway drug that was the Harvey books. Wendy we created, Spooky we created, Nightmare we created, a ghostly trio. So we created a whole world of people that were interested. They were progressive. They were one of the few, if only, comic book publishing companies that really knew that there was a huge market for young girls. It seemed to be a family-run business. They were really good at providing moral backgrounds to their characters and teaching lessons to kids. The importance of honesty, the importance of doing good. Casper, the friendly ghost, the friendliest ghost you know. It really wasn't until they hit upon Casper and Richie Rich that they became a major player. Richie Rich was a pure comic book phenomenon. Printing Richie Rich comics was literally like printing money. Basically, Harvey bet everything on the farm on Casper and Richie Rich. And over time, the generation who once loved it would outgrow it. You didn't know how well any book was doing. The characters had sort of fallen into this um, moribund state. I mean, when Alfred got sick, it had all changed. I mean, once he was moved aside, he did everything to disrupt things. Harvey stopped printing. Anytime there's a story of someone screwing up and, and losing ownership rights is a car wreck. Why don't you think anything's happened with Casper since? Um, that's a good question. <laughs>